the voice of Jesus. Just get away from this crowd of clouds. The voice of Jesus is just, it's, it's amazing. The Bible describes the voice of God, the Father, the voice of, of Jesus, the voice of, I'm not sure if it just says the same thing about the Holy Spirit. I have to look into that. But it describes it here. These are the, the words that they use for the voice of Jesus, of God and Jesus. There's this there's um a story when Elijah goes to the mountain and there's a storm, there's earthquake and all that. There's a, there's a silent whisper that he hears. That was the voice of God. In other places, like in Exodus and in the book of um, Revelation and Daniel, um, you, you, you hear the voice of Jesus and God being described as a loud voice, rushing waters, you know, sounding like rushing waters, a voice, so I, sounding like a trumpet. And each description has just um, has a, a deeper meaning um, when when it says the voice of um, a trumpet what comes to mind is judgment you know announcement judgment declaration when it says um, the voice of rushing waters sounds peaceful it will sound just peace thundering voice you know thunder uh, that's like immediate action required you know so there's like different facets to the voice of jesus um this is part of a series that i'm gonna start doing now on youtube probably probably every day now i'm gonna talk to you about because jesus told me to tell everyone about him so i'm gonna talk to you, to you guys about just some aspects of jesus so the voice of jesus so that's what we're talking about today um for me when i heard the voice of jesus i didn't know scripture that well i was a little kid i um my my siblings have had the opportunity to go they went to a school an elementary school that made them it was part of the school curriculum to finish the Bible in one year or one semester, I believe. Or I forgot how they did it, but they'll have this audio Bible and they'll have the physical Bible and they had to read it. And that was part of their, it was going for marks and stuff like that. And so they had that, they f finished it over and over. I never did as a kid. So I had, I never f went to, I, I never reached grade two or three there i left before we left the country kenya before um i could um, go through that system so i had to read the bible on my own and you know just read from cover to cover uh, but then later on in life god made it in such a way that we went back to kenya and i went back to that that school and we finished the bible from cover to cover in one one year so this semester we've reached to a certain point and then we finished it and once one semester one year I, I forget how we did it but we did it with the audio book it was really nice um the, the name of the school is ebenezer god bless those people uh we're talking about the voice of jesus so when i heard the voice of jesus was before all that the school was after it was i was in i was in sierra leone that's a country in west africa and I remember God telling me to to write it down. I hope I did. I might be in trouble if I did. Um, I have I've written a lot about. So it's probably in there, but I'll check. I have a thing that I'm writing, a book that I'm writing. Um, it's probably in there, but I'll check and make sure that I wrote that down there. But for sharing about it, when I heard it voice of jesus what it sounded like and i i don't know if i share this in one of my live videos as the voice of jesus sounds like 
the sound of oh here it comes here comes the car you're gonna like this there we go it's beautiful you know why because when it passes you hear that wind and i pray that you sort of get it it sounds like actually this experience happened when i was in kenya whilst we were reading that bible uh, that's the so basically around 2012 2011 2012 ish um Jesus was talking to two angels or an angel. I'm not sure if there were two or one angel there around. But he was looking at me as he was. they were talking. But they were talking in this other language that I didn't really know. And as I said in the previous video when I was telling you about the, what God was saying. Is when I tried to hear with my ears, I didn't understand it. Um. The best I could say is it sounded like noise. It sounded so, so, it sounded like they were saying, it sounded so crispy in my ears, so nice. Like, rushing waters is so peaceful. It's like, you know, just so good. But I didn't remember at that point about the rushing water aspect of, of the voice of Jesus. Um, so, he looked at me. He didn't speak with his mouth, but he told me, listen from the inside, from your heart. Uh, why? Because the Holy Spirit dwells in you, and the Holy Spirit is the one who translates what God, what people say in tongues, people say in angelic tongues, and even in other languages, for example. And um, <clears throat> when I did that, I started understanding what they were saying. And, um, but, um, I want to talk about the, the description. The description I got from the voice of Jesus is, it sounds like a lady walk, walking on high heels, walking on, um, glass on high heels. And as she's walking, she's shattering the glass with her, with her heels. So it's like... You know, that's that's how it just, it's so peaceful. That's the rushing water aspect of um, the voice of um, of Jesus, the voice of God, the rushing water, the peaceful one that that is just so good. Um, obviously, there's the other aspect, the thundering, the loud as a trumpet, you know, that's, um, I'd, I'm not, I'm probably not going to touch on that on this video. I'll do that on the other one. But today... God says, why not? Okay, all right, Lord, have have your way. Um, so, yeah, that's how it sounded like. Just imagine someone walking on with high heels on glass. And the glass is shattered. Not exactly shattered, but as she's walking, she's shattering it with her heels. You know, like, I don't know if you've heard it. It's just beautiful. So beautiful. And that's how they sounded. That's how Jesus sounded when he was talking to the angels. Now that's how the angels were sounding. Because angels are in the presence of God. And they carry the voice of God in them. They're not allowed to say any message. Um, they're not allowed to say any message. More. Like if God tells them say Ford. Like this car is a Ford. They're not allowed to say anything else other than that um, they only see what God says so that's uh, that's the beautiful thing about about angels <laughs> sorry I'm, I'm laughing because as I'm talking I'm hearing they crack jokes too that's the thing that's the funny part of it like God is a serious God in the sense that like he, he's supposed to be taken seriously but he does have a sense of humor so the angels do crack jokes um, so sometimes uh, the reason why we're going to just talk about Jesus is because when we talk about Jesus, he shows up. Um, that's that's just another interesting fact about him. When you talk about him, he shows up. So as I'm talking about him and I'm talking about angels, I could hear them laughing and making jokes about me and about stuff. So it's, it's, it's funny. But it's good to know that they're around. Um, and the Lord open up. Our ears open up your ears as you're watching this video to hear his voice to hear the voice of the Lord and if it's his desire to hear the voice of angels in Jesus name um, 
Yeah. Tell them about the angel with the sword. All right, fine. Um, how about I make another video? Okay, fine. Yeah, you win. Um, he during that time it was I really this is this is why I can't forget my experience in Ebenezer Academy, AIC Ebenezer Academy when I went back to Kenya because I had a fun time with Jesus at that time. It was so good. Uh, during that time, he would show me, he would show me um, that there are angels responsible for, like, there's a servant of God, the angel, also, which is also the word angel, because uh, angel means servant of God, basically. I forget in which language, I'm not sure. Probably Hebrew or Aramaic, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna lie. That's not my area of expertise, languages and stuff. But it means messenger of God. So obviously there's a, a pastor in charge of the church, right? Um, he's the elder. But in the spiritual world, there's an angel who stands in that church. Sorry, I belched. Who guards the sword. The sword is the word of God. He holds it in that church. And depending on how, in, how the relationship with God and that church, the sword that the angel holds, that... The, 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 their, their relationship with God brightens the sword. If it's a good relationship, the sword is really bright and it goes straight up to heaven. And if it's a bad relationship, the, the sword is dim. Anyway, these are things that I should include in my book. But I'll share it for for free on YouTube here. Um, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, we are created for one purpose and one purpose only, and that's for his glory um yeah so they carry that the angels they stand in and and those angels those particular angels are super tall some of them are as tall as the you know how tall church buildings are like the front especially the ones that have the cross on top of it that's how tall most of them are the ones that hold the sword they're super tall um yeah god said to tell you guys about that so i did and healing for whoever has pain in their neck in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, that happens to me. That's the weird part. He twitches me. But anyway, that is the voice of that concludes it. Well, doesn't conclude everything about the voice of God, but that's what we'll talk about today. The voice of um of God. I felt like God wanted me to share that. And I pray that as soon as the like, as soon as you hear this. That the Lord opens your ears and let him let you hear him speak to you in Jesus' name. Whoever you are at the sound of my voice, that you hear him speak. Speak in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yeah. It might come like a gentle whisper, it might come like thunder, it might come like a trumpet. <laughs> Fire. Ooh. The Israelites in the in the book of Exodus, they heard the loud thunder they saw the loud they saw the, the the lightning they heard the thunder and god was in the in the, in the fire and i was speaking they got real scared so it could be like that but it also could be god speaks in different ways and i think the next video i'm gonna make is how god speaks to us through dreams check that one out thank you lord